Right, moving on to other stories. The phrase David and Goliath has taken on a more popular meaning diplomatically. In two recent incidents, two comparatively smaller countries have taken on more powerful nations. In the first case, the tiny Pacific nation of Nauru has demanded China apologize for the quote-unquote crazy behavior of its senior diplomat at the Pacific Island Forum hosted by Nauru. The row erupted after Nauru's president, Baron Waka, prevented the head of the Chinese delegation from presenting a speech on climate change. Nauru President Baron Waka described China's envoy as very insolent and a bully for speaking out of turn. Disrespecting the Pacific, the Forum Island leaders and other ministers who have come to join us in the Pacific, in our territory, in our, in, in our little corner of the world. And you, get, you look at him, he's a nobody. He's not even a minister and demanding to be recognized if, even before the Prime Minister of Tuvalu. Is he crazy? Meanwhile, China's foreign ministry has uh, said that Nauru should apologize for its behavior and Nauru's complaints about China will only invite humiliation to the island nation. In another incident, Paraguay's new government has announced that it will move its embassy in Israel back to Tel Aviv just three months after shifting it to Jerusalem. Now in a tit-for-tat move, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has ordered the closure of Israel's embassy in Paraguay. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said that Paraguay's move has cast a shadow on the country's relations. Remember, by moving the embassy to Tel Aviv, Paraguay will also be upsetting the U.S. Last year in December, Trump had declared that the U.S. recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. كبير وانجاز كبير للدبلوماسية الفلسطينية بقيادة سيد الرئيس محمود عباس وهي رسالة قوية لإدارة الرئيس ترامب تقول هذه الرسالة بأن الانحياز الأمريكي الأعمى لن ينجح في تثبيت نقل سفارات الدول من تل أبيب إلى القدس لأن القدس الشرقية هي جزءا لا يتجزأ من الأرض الفلسطينية المحتلة وهي رسالة قوية للإسرائيليين لن تستطيعوا فتح علاقات طبيعية مع العالم. Thank you.